In today's video, it's Wah, it's Sabi, and it's the cutest ute you'll see today. G'day everyone, this is Daniel O'Grady and I am back in Japan, back at the desk narrating. Had a great time in Australia, I did upload a few videos, go check them out if you haven't already and there's gonna be a whole lot more. I hope you like race cars and Holdens, maybe the old Lotus, I saw some great cars down there so stick around please. Anyway, today's car is a second generation Suzu light carry, yes that would be a Suzuki. Now I have never seen a first generation one, I did see it on Wikipedia but that doesn't count. And I also did see a third generation and the body style is a bit different, you know it's a bit more of an upright cab. There it is. Also the fourth generation was super cool, designed by Giorgetto Giudiaro. And then we get to the fifth generation, it's still cool looking but not as cool as the fourth generation, I love that fourth gen. And a 6th gen, and it's looking a bit so-so in the styling stakes. Look, I'm gonna stop there, but there's a whole bunch more, and the current generation is the 11th, so they really did carry on, carry, carry on with the thing. Now this beautiful patinaed carry belongs to the Sepia collection, and if you ever get the Kyushu, you gotta check out this collection, it's mostly domestic Japanese cars, I've done a bunch of videos, Go to the website, there's a link to the Sepia collection below and do check that out at the end of the video. Now the second gens were built from June 1965 until the introduction of the fourth generation carry. The fourth generation? Yep, the one by Giorgetto Giudiaro. So it was produced in parallel with the cab over third gen. And aside from the ute, there was also a van version. It could carry two people plus 300 kilograms or four people plus 200 kilograms. And the space out the back was a whopping 1.3 cubic meters. I am super disappointed that I couldn't get to see the engine. Apparently it's a front mid engine layout rear wheel drive, so it should sit a bit back. Anyway, it's a 359cc two stroke inline two cylinder engine. It produced 21 horsepower, which is better than 20 horsepower, I guess. Apparently this engine was a copy of the Lloyd LP400 engine. Sadly, the uh, connection is lost on me. I'm not familiar with those cars at all. But I do have a question. Why does Lloyd begin with two L's? Oakley doakley, now that I've spat out all the stats, I can talk about this cool little car. I'm just loving the styling. It's got a stubby nose, a little bit high, but there is something that really gels about the styling. The grill, the front guards, I'm not even sure, but it's a cool little thing. Of course, we've got fender mounted side mirrors. What I'm loving actually, this is what, the mid 60s, but the door handles, those little uh, pull up door handles. Australia didn't get those until 1971 with the HQ and I don't know the year for the Ford Falcon but they came really late to Australia. Now you will see a little green tipped uh, stick that hangs from the front bumper on the left hand side. That will aid the driver when parking so they know where the corner of the car is and the nickname for that in Japan is the Hetakuso Bo, the, uh, the stick for the unskilled person. Interior, bench seat, super plain, cute little dash, very simple, black or dark steering wheel, it's just, yeah, does the job. Now I'm not entirely sure why I hang around at the back here, but the wheel tubs for the tray, you'll notice they extend until the uh, the cab wall. Now I, you know, it, I would have thought that they would only cover the wheel well, but anyway, maybe, uh, I don't know. Now before I let you go, Andrew over in Ireland won the Patreon giveaway, so that's the Wheels Magazine special of the 50 years of the Mazda Rotary, it's a fantastic publication. That's going to you Andrew, thank you so much. And I will be announcing the September Patreon giveaway over at Patreon, I don't know what it is yet but it's going to be fantastic. And the question of the day is what are you starting? So for me next Monday I start back at school after a month of summer vacation. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Fingers crossed. So what are you starting? Let me know. Thank you so much everyone for watching. Take it easy and goodbye. With a little bit of rust and a little bit of dirt on wasabi cows and a little bit of wasabi.